I don't know how much you get. That's why we would have to. That's why we're figuring it out. Like, I mean, you already. I'll tell you what. The first one is limited. Right. Oh wait, we're very limited, and it's an honor. It's an honor, and you make it. You can't have a hundred people. It's very exclusive. But again, if you don't come on the road trip, maybe you'll come to the dinner. That's true. And then you come on a nice road trip. Yeah. Or you come to the studio where we're preparing it, and we have a studio on in Tecklin, me and my chef. Well, he's like, yeah, and he's turning around saying, what the. <laughs> and then I got people calling, yeah, and it, 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 it could be like, you know, it could be like uh, stories from back in my days when I first started in the restaurant business, or up in Connecticut, for example, there was a, a haunted house where the restaurant was that I ran, and I did a on um, Easter Sunday, I did an Easter egg hunt as one of the perks for the employees at the end of the day. And so people will call in and say, oh, remember up in the old chart house where we did an Easter egg hunt? Yeah, and I'm going to throw a name out there. And if any of you guys remember this name, why don't you call in? Tons of fun. We had a going away party where we hired a stripper called Tons of Fun. No way. Just no. Awesome. I don't have it. My friend does up in Connecticut. It was so funny. And we could start, you know, and then they'd be like, okay, go to commercial. Remember, no first name, no last name, no last name. So I'm hoping maybe like a variety type like segment where also you know how much I love my karaoke. Yeah. Right. And this is going on that un corkscrew unscrewed section. <laughs> One of the girls who comes to the road trip is a singer. Um, real quick, what does Monica sing? No, no, what does Monica sing? Yeah, she's, a jazz, she's a jazz singer with a sultry voice. And she loves to sing, so she also does the like you. So we can do like an entertainment segment where we do a little break with the video and the karaoke. And when we did uh, one of our road trips, she was reading the labels of the bottle, and it was those wines called Foreplay. Yeah. And, oh, uh, funny. And she's reading Teach. And, and missionary, yeah, Menage a Trois, and missionary. And so she's reading missionary. A deep, dark, penetrating red. Like, oh my god. This that is, is so gonna get us in trouble. And it was so that, like, deep, Yeah, she has that deep, sultry voice. Funny. Like it's like the radio. vagina monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. You know what I mean? Vagina monologue. And it would be and that's why I think we can really make this, along with the help Something. of these guys, right. yeah. to the next level. Who knows? Um, I'm flattered again that people, you know, when I want it to be about me, it's all fun, but all of a sudden when it is about me, I want to be humble again, so I can, I can be humble. I can, I can be humble. Exactly. It's not only about me. That's true, isn't it? But what did happen, uh, V versus Val, V did go and do a little investigating. Get all three of you in the shots? So, Catch the conversation at the yeah, no, But again, then when it's like that, then it's not about me because it's these people who have got me through those times that this is why I, I still am able to do what I do because of my friends who, as Teresa said, I, your friends love you so much. It's true. It shows. And I'm but glad you to have be a, part a of that. serious passion for this. Well, I do. Yeah. I, I mean, do like it takes, I mean, you're by yourself from, a, you know, for like hours of mixing ingredients and doing what you want to do. Because you know the end result. I do it's know a passion, result. though. And Thank you. If you don't have that, you don't have any. You can't. Well, you can't even do what you do because, no. and you can't have a restaurant. I wouldn't like you be, have. It wouldn't be fun doing what I do. No. And you guys all know that you've all job. had dinner with me before. When we're, it would just be a job. You're right. I mean, not for nothing, but even the tanning salon or whatever. We got voted best in Dawsonville. Don Monica doesn't do tanning salons, but whatever. We're trying to fix that. But <laughs> 2009, 10, right. and 11. I don't know about anybody else. Well, it's said to me, I we want the best restaurant, best fine dining restaurant, best steak. And I'm like, thank you. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm flattered, but I want to make sure we live up to that reputation. Every time. Consistency. Yeah. And I, I do need to introduce, again, I have my, now, security specialist here. Our tanning and teeth whitener. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right. Now I have a personal yoga instructor too. Now we're booties, we're going to do yogis. <laughs> now we have our own transportation <laughs> service too. Our own videographer, and when we get up to the lodge, Ginevra's a graphic and marketing designer. Uh, her husband's an IT specialist. Her, her, her husband's an IT specialist. She really is good at IT. Then we got Monica, the singer, and Dr. Mike. They're all going to be up there. My own spiritual slash medical advisor. Are they up there today? Are they up there? Uh, Monica and Mike will be. Uh, Monica and her husband Mike Ginevra and John will be, but not Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike actually has to work today. Okay. Dr. Mike works one day a week. <laughs> and, it's a day. And, it's a day. and it's actually bummer. He's yes. one of the originals, yes. Yes. And, and he's one of the ones that I really wish was here to do the first take on. What, what about John? Yeah, John is no. going to be up there. John and Ginevra? No, yeah. 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 yeah, we're picking up John now. Ginevra's up gotcha. there with, okay. with Mike and Monica, and then another, like I said, the well, other couple who won. Yeah, they're going to meet us up there, I guess. Okay. They want to get started. And then you and Jane Rainey, who own the winery. So I have a question. How have the dinners been he going? Like, I don't Minimum 20 people. You. You. <laughs> you. I thought you were saying you like me. Not I'm you. Like, you were the H. No. You. Have they been huge? Uh, you. Are they, is it a big success? It has been. It has been. Well, and we it's had one huge. week. One up to four.